solid and hematog hematological malignancies and achieved global regularity approval in relapsed refractory myeloma in the year 2015. You can understand the person who is coming to chair this function. He published a lot of books, about 120 to his credit. The chairman for this occasion is a professor. He has, he has about 15 awards to his credit. He is married with three children. If I should continue with his CV, I'll be ending ar around 6 p.m. Allow me, therefore, to introduce or present to you the chairman for this occasion in the person of Presbyter Professor Peter Kofi Ataja. Professor, your audience, audience, the chairman for this occasion, Professor Peter Ataja. Thank you. Thank you. The Honorable moderator of the General Assembly, the very Reverend Dr. Lieutenant Colonel Adeko, the Honorable Representative of the President of Ghana, Honorable Yao Osafumafo, the Honorable Regional Minister, Honorable Dr. Lecture, um, Togbo, Mamao, all invited guests. I thank you and I thank the Lord God Almighty for putting it upon the heart of my church to identify me to serve at this function. We have already prayed to the Lord Jesus himself who established his church to take the seat. And if we want to um, even continue to read the accolades of him who has established the church, it will be world without end. So I thank you and I accept to come alongside my Lord who is already function, uh, serving as a chair of this function, to serve him. So thank you. Thank you, my church. Thank you, my nation, for giving me all the opportunities from EP Primary School, Golokwati, to this day. I thank the church for molding um, a person such as I. Thank you so much. Shall we put our hands together for the chairman of the occasion? Professor Chair, may I have your permission to continue with the program? 
and invite the principal of the college, Dr. Dixon Chair, to give us his anniversary welcome address. Be seated. The Prof. Chairman, the President, in this case, the representative of the President. The Presidential Advisor, Honorable Yao Osafo Mafu, the Volta Regional Minister, members of Parliament, the District Chief Executive Who West, the Director General, Ghana Education. Education, Ghana Tertiary Education Commission, the Vice Chancellor, University of Ghana, the representative of the Vice Chancellor, University of Cape Coast, principals of colleges of education, the Volta Regional Director of Education, the clergy, staff, and students, the alumni of Ameko, special guests, all distinguished guests, Osie Ajatekpo, the seventh paramount chief and president of Avatime Traditional Council. The Osie, Okusie of Amejofe, and all other Okusies present. Togbeu, Mamau, members of civil society, members of the press corps. Ladies and gentlemen, it gives me much pleasure to welcome you all individually and collectively to the 75th anniversary celebration. Indeed, I'm personally delighted to be serving as the 12th substantive principal of the college as we mark the 75th anniversary of the college under the theme Restoring the past glory, repositioning Ameko as a strategic partner in quality teacher education delivery in the 21st century. The same sentiment should be expressed by each one of us in our capacities as students, as staff, alumni, and whatever capacity we may find ourselves. 
I acknowledge the fortitude of the Evangelical Presbyterian Church Ghana for their foresight in establishing this college which has and continue to serve as the citadel of education in the Volta region and Ghana at large. I must emphasize that the crucial decision which was taken at one of the synods of the EP Church is amply manifested to the admiration of all today. The government of Ghana cannot be forgotten in the numerous roles it has played from the beginning to date. Professor Chairman, we are gathered here today also because of the pioneering role played by the first principal of the college, a Scottish missionary, Reverend W. M. Beveridge, who was then the supervisor of EP Church Schools and was described variously as an astute educationist who brought his immense expertise in education to bear on the administration of the college during its formative years. Distinguished ladies and gentlemen, the journey after Reverend Beveridge through Mr. T.W. Kwame, Mr. M.O. Merku, Mr. A.A. Bekwi, Mr. I.K. Kuju, Reverend O.K. Oklu, Mr. M. A. Y. Fie, Mr. J. N. K. Fianu, and N. with Reverend E. K. Gao. The current crop of leaders of the college can be traced from Mr. J. D. Koka, Reverend S. K. Tete, and myself. Togbil Mamau. We appreciate the vital roles you have played in the building and development of the college. May the cordial relationship continue smoothly. I have since taken over the mantle of leadership done what is said to be humanly possible to build on the firm foundation by our forefathers with the view to having a better college than I and my team came to meet. Distinguished personalities, the population of the college currently stands, <coughs> sorry, currently stands at 1,057 from the 596 when I took over in November 2018. The college has five departments, including languages, education, science, physical education, social sciences, and creative arts, and mathematics and ICT running various courses. In a direct response to government's policy of improving on the teaching and learning of French at the basic level, the college under the leadership of Mr. J.D. Koka introduced French as an elective course in the college's curriculum. I am proud to say that our French trainees our French trainee students are among the best colleges of education trainee students that are well baked for that are well baked teaching in the teaching of French. Professor Chairman, Professor Chairman.
We in AMECO are following closely the government's transformational agenda in the educational sector to achieve the maximum benefits that will follow as part of the plans of the education ministry to have only well-trained degree teachers teaching our children in the classroom from kindergarten. We have since 2019 started plans to introduce the early childhood program in Ameko. Plans are far advanced in starting the program in the next academic year with our mentor university, University of Ghana, providing the necessary guidance. Ladies and gentlemen, plans are far advanced to introduce music as an elective program. Undoubtedly, Ameko is on record to have produced a number of outstanding musicians in the past who are serving who are serving in various institutions across the country. Our quest is to bring back the good old days. Distinguished personalities, even though we have made very remarkable strides in the past, we have come this far with just the glamour of it. There have been numerous challenges along the way. As I have mentioned earlier on, the college is faced with myriad of challenges which need to be mentioned and addressed as soon as possible. The first and foremost challenge confronting the college is the inadequate capacity of the current assembly hall to accommodate the huge numbers, number of students in the college, which now, as said earlier on, stands at 1,057. Traditionally, the assembly hall had the capacity to contain only 100 to 150 students. That is this structure you can see here. And that is the structure 1,057 students are still using. But as we speak, it is taking a staggering population of, as I said already. As a result, almost all our ceremonial events are held at the forecourt of the assembly where we are currently holding this anniversary celebration. Obviously, this is not befitting of 75-year-old college. Again, it's hard to note that most of the staff of the college commute between Ho and Amejofe due to the adequate accommodation on campus and in the Amejofe Township. This disheartening situation is affecting teaching and learning and therefore need attention and remedy. Professor Chairman, our students are not left out of this trouble. There are not enough lecture halls for the increasing number of admitted students at the college. A two-story classroom built for the students said in which is also far from the main campus. We also recently converted the IT lab where the students would bed, the female students. Sadly, also, a four-story ladies get fun hostel facility started in 2010 
has been abandoned at the foundation stage up till now. We humbly call for your quick intervention to all these problems. Ladies and gentlemen, it is practically impossible for administration, administrative work to go on smoothly without the needed offices for the workers. It is heartbreaking to report that most of our staff are sharing office space which does not allow for privacy and increased productivity. Professor Chairperson, though we acknowledge the frantic effort of the Nana Adu, Nana Adu, Adu, Nana Adu Dankwa Akufo Adu led administration, we are endlessly appealing to the president to an agent attention to the college in commemoration of our 75th anniversary and to mark his coming to the college here in Damejofe. Professor Chairman, the question is, how are we doing ourselves to minimize the situation? In the first place, there has been massive renovation at our staff bungalows to make room for more staff to be accommodated on campus in our own small way. We have done that. The same thing has been done with our offices to have more spaces for our staff at the old structure we saw there at the top. Through the IGF, or internally generated fund, the college, we have, through the IGF, the college have built a one-story this one is, I think it's two story, two story block and S, which includes a council chamber. This facility was inaugurated this morning as part of the anniversary celebration. I think that deserves a, a, a big clap from, <laughs> for us. <laughs> it was not easy. Thank you. Again, through the same internally generated fund, and support from others, management cut short yesterday for the construction of a four unit, two story building known as the anniversary project to ease the accommodation challenges of staff. It is our hope that the alumni will help us to get this project done in not less than three years, or in not more than three years, sorry, in not more than three years. They said, it is said, Professor Chairman, that said, May I also appeal once again to the EP Church Ghana, the alumni of the college, and all well-meaning Ghanaians who come to the aid of the college. Professor Chairman, I once again extend my appreciation to all for being part of this memorable anniversary. I look forward to many more years ahead and pray that the God Almighty gives us good health and prosperity to be part of the centenary celebration in 2046. Azalu! Azalu! Thank you for your attention.
Shall we do it once again for the principal of the college? A lot went on yesterday. We had the 75th anniversary lecture. There was also sword cutting. And for the first time in history, the cadet of the college was also inaugurated. Shall we put our hands together for that? <laughs> EP College of Education and Major Affair is not alone. We also have our children with us, the demonstration school. And they are also part of the celebration. Professor Chair, with your permission, may I invite the demonstration school to give us a cultural display? Thank you.
alumni president, Mr. Agbokulochu, to give out the alumni address. Shall we welcome him? Good morning. I wish to also welcome everybody to this program. And by virtue of the protocols already established, I also wish to carry on with my speech. Forming a body to represent the interest of old students of College of Education has historically been tedious for past students of the EP College of Education, Amejofe. Ours began in a scattered fashion, mostly in Winneba, Cape Coast, for obvious reasons. Students aggregated around one another under the tag of Ameko in the universities offering education. We had lecturers of American heritage playing host randomly, and the names, and names like Professors Flolu and Amedahe readily come into play. We also had others such as Mr. Kuto doing same. However, Professor Che, the turning point began to evolve when some younger ones then started meeting at places like Afrikiko, Vag Hall, and then Clubhouse, the then GBC Clubhouse. It has been an on and off battle but we are fortunate to eventually have ourselves properly registered with the Registrar General, with bank accounts, etc. We are also fortunate to count among ourselves our numbers, year groups from 1971 to date, even though the commitment is not as solid as should be. We have the welfare of the alumni and the college as our primary focus, since that is our varied attempt at getting together. By virtue of that, we also have a welfare union properly registered to cater for the needs of registered members. However, the operationalization has been a huge challenge. Over the years, the alumni have, in their own ways, found the means to assist the college in instances such as when the 1991 year group donated chairs to the college and the alumni did networking of uh, computers and telephones at the administration block. The 1998 year group donated a table tennis board with accessories. Kudos to the alumni who have, in various ways, kept faith with the college over the years. I wish to make mention of the following, among others who have played significant roles in keeping this nascent group going over the years. Florence Sunu, Selassie Glover, Kwame Zowonu, Senam Nukunu, who unfortunately passed, and Judith Kemeche, who is also a staff. Worthy of mention are some year groups whose membership and leadership have made it a point to be for Ameko and Amekans. These are the 1990, 1971 year group. I wish to mention Mr. Brian Sapati as their main contact who's been doing well. 1991 year group, 1997 and 96 year group, and 1998. The alumni is immensely grateful for the 2001 year group for donating 3,000 and 4,000 capacity polytanks to the college as part of their contribution and in it's celebrating their 20, 20, 20 years. years. This wonderful gesture, I must say, is exemplary and commendable. We have had an open system of administration over the years but we have evolved to a year group based system over the few years to drive better cohesion through existing college inspired associations. We have come a long way, 
but we need greater dedication, selflessness, and a desire to drive change on campus in ways that will help the college to continue to turn out graduates of repute. We thank the Amejofe community and the Vatime community at large, the principal and the former principals, the college management and former college management, tutors and former tutors, as well as non-academic staff, past and present. As a president, I will personally thank Togbi Ajayin, the immediate past college board and members of our execom for their tireless belief in the cause of Mother Ameko and products past and present. Let us move into the next generation with a resolve to better partner, to be better partners in our collective welfare and the welfare of the entire college community. At this juncture, I would humbly appeal for a minute silence in memory of alumni lost over the past 75 years. May their souls rest in peace. I therefore entreat all, especially Americans, to join the college management in addressing challenges on campus. Our anniversary project needs an annual 300 Ghana cities per alumni to be successful. We also need the support of corporate Ghana as we strive to make Ameco a key partner in quality education in Ghana. Our drive to have a year group based welfare insurance scheme also needs the attention of all. I end it wishing us all a stupendous anniversary. It is indeed worth celebrating. Thank you all. Let's do it together once again for Mr. Lechu, the alumni president. As I said yesterday, we inaugurated a cadet of the college and also the brass band. Shall we hear you?
Thank you all. Azalo! Azalo! Akpe mi awele to ji ma one to nse mi opete. The college is under the mentorship of University of Ghana Legon. And University of Ghana is represented here by the head of that institution. Professor Chairman, may I, with your permission, invite Professor Nana Abba Apia Amfo to address us. Thank you, Mr. MC. Uh, I came with the Provost of the College of Education, Professor Martin Oting Abibio, and also the Director of the Pan African Doctoral Academy, Dr. Jemima Anderson. Mr. Chair, Senior Presidential Advisor, the Honorable Yao Osafo Mafo. Moderator of the General Assembly of the EP Church of Ghana, Right Reverend Lieutenant Colonel Bliss, Divine Agreku, retired. You often don't find a military officer retired, though, as well as a minister, a Reverend Minister, in one person. It's a privilege for me to meet you. The Volta Regional Minister, Honorable Dr. Lecha. Tobio Mamao, the Director General of the Ghana Tertiary Education Commission. Ladies and gentlemen, please permit me to appropriate the protocol so elaborately established by the principal and proceed accordingly. Yes. The EP College of Education, Ameko, is 75 years old. That actually I don't feel the excitement that you are 75 years old. That actually makes this institution a year older than the University of Ghana. But as will have it, when the government decided to upgrade all training colleges to degree awarding colleges of education, Ameko was one of the six training college or colleges of education <laughs> that was placed under the mentorship of the Premier University. And I must say that as a mentoring institution, we have taken our responsibilities very seriously. And over these three to four years that you have been affiliated to us, we have diligently delivered on our duties. And I would like to speak briefly to only three of these. The first responsibility we had as a mentoring institution was to support the training, the colleges of education to develop their new B.Ed. curricula and to ensure their effective delivery. Thus, we have done excellently with the support and under the direction of the Ghana Tertiary Education Commission. I thought you would give us a round of applause for doing that. The second area I'd like to speak to has to do with professional development of faculty. Uh, as you know, the upgrade of the training colleges to colleges of education was not just a matter of semantics. It came along with certain upgraded expectations. And so the faculty in these colleges are not only expected to teach uh, picking from whatever they can pick from others, 
but they are also expected to contribute to knowledge development, to do research, to publish the research, and also to let this rich research reflect in their teaching. And so we have taken it upon ourselves to support the faculty to train them so that they are able to develop their research and publishing skills. And so we have been engaged in this over these years. We have not left out staff. As you may know, the University of Ghana is on an agenda to uh, ensure that we use technology in all of our operations. And so we expect this of our affiliate institutions. So we have organized training programs for the staff to upgrade their skills so that they are adept in using the ITS so that we will minimize uh, delays in uh, our administrative processes, uh, releasing of uh, examination results, and so on and so forth. And the last point that I'd like to speak to has to do with... No, even uh, before that, with regard to the faculty members, we also uh, helped with the development of promotion guidelines, which have been finalized and submitted to GTEC. And that takes me to the last point, which has to do with promotion of uh, principals. In this area, also draft guidelines have been developed and these have been submitted to the Colleges of Education for their comments. And so we expect the document back soon, so we take it through the necessary approval process. And you know that the University of Ghana has very high standards. And so if you happen to have the privilege of being affiliated to us, we also expect that there are high standards in, the, in, in these institutions. And so we are committed to holding uh, your hands so that by the time that this mentoring relationship is formally over, you will be ready to deliver efficiently and, uh, efficiently and excellently on your mandate. And so with these uh, brief remarks, I would like to once again congratulate Ameko for 75 years of existence and the impact. And the impact that you have had on the lives of many. So congratulations, felicitation, Niawe Wado, Memamutriunkwa. Thank you. Professor VC. Let's put our hands together for her once again. Let's take a brief rendition from, from the choir. The vice principal has given some item to some student. Please, the vice principal is here. Let him have those items. Thank you.
Azalo! Azalo! You know, in our country, where we gather, the cloud also gather. So we have to be brave. The will take a brief statement from the Director General Ghana Tertiary Education Commission, Professor Mohammed Salifu. Shall we welcome him? Professor Chairman, Representative of His Excellency the President, the Venerable Senior Presidential Advisor, the Honorable Regional Minister, Paramount Chief and President of Avatimi Traditional Area, Vice Chancellor, University of Ghana, Representative of the Vice Chancellor of the University of Cape Coast, Principal of the EP College, Amajepe and staff, principals of sister colleges of education present, the Volta Regional Director of Education, members of parliament, pressmen and women, distinguished invited guests, ladies and gentlemen. As you would see from the order of proceedings, in addition to the brilliant speeches that we have already listened to, there are other distinguished guests uh, on the bill to deliver speeches. So I'd want to keep mine straight and simple. Professor Chairman, I wish to take my opportunity not to deliver an address per se, but to offer a warm message of solidarity from the Ghana Tertiary Education Commission, which, as we know, regulates tertiary education institutions, including the EP College of Education, Amejofe. 75 years in the life of any institution is no mean feat. The very fact of surviving through all these years is enough proof of your resilience and relevance in the community that you exist and the clientele that you serve. The, the college has been an integral part of teacher education in Ghana all through these years and has gradually evolved in stature through the quality and standard of programs offered in accordance with various reforms in teacher education. Starting from two-year post-middle certificate A, four-year post-middle certificates, to three-year post-secondary certificates in the early years, you have attained university college status and now one of the major pillars in the delivery of the four-year Bachelor of Education program. So to the principal and staff of EP College Amejofe, I say congratulations on this occasion of your Diamond Jubilee. And all, and all the, the successes, successes that the college has achieved over, over the years. The Ghana Tertiary Education Commission supervised the conceptualization and implementation of the current Bachelor of Education program, which goes down easily as one of the most radical reforms of initial teacher education since our independence. We have worked successfully together with TTEL, the colleges, and five mentor universities to deliver the program. And I'm happy on this occasion to report that the EP College, Amejepe, has been among the foremost colleges in meeting the key implementation milestones. In person, therefore, as Director General to affirm the unwavering commitment and solidarity of the Ghana Tertiary Education Commission 
to all the good work that is being done at EP College Amajefe by the hardworking staff under the able leadership of the youthful Dr. Dixon Che. <laughs> I assure you that the best years of EP College Amejefe is ahead of you, not behind you. I am sure that at the appropriate time, the Honorable Minister for Education will be unveiling some of the key interventions planned that should excite every college of education about the next phase of your evolution a specialized teacher education training institutions. Finally, Professor Chairman, without further ado, please accept the warm and best wishes of the Ghana Tertiary Education Commission and congratulations once again on this auspicious occasion of your 75th anniversary. Thank you very much. Once again, the Director General, Ghana Tertiary Education Commission. Professor Chairman, with your permission, may I humbly invite the head of this region who has been doing very well in the person of Dr. Achibod Yao, lecture. Shall we put our hands together for Dr. Dr. Lecha, the Volta Regional Minister? I'm, I'm, I'm sure those of you who, who thought I was short will know today that I'm a very tall man. Please sit down, please sit down. Professor Chairman, the representative of His Excellency the President and the Senior Advisor to the President, Moderator of the General Assembly of the EP Church Ghana, the Principal of the EP College of Education, Director General of GTEC, Vice Chancellor of my university, University of Ghana, Representative of the Vice Chancellor of the University of Cape Coast, uh, all other vice chancellors represented here, the paramount chief of the Vatime traditional area, the regional director of education, Togbeo Mamao, teaching and non-teaching staff of the EP College of Education, distinguished guests, members of the media, students, ladies and gentlemen. I am highly honored by the opportunity extended to me to join you today at the Grand Deba of the 75th anniversary celebration of this great institution of teacher education, the Evangelical Presbyterian College of Education, Amejofi. I'm therefore grateful to the college for the invitation. Professor Chairman, I bring you warm greetings from the Volta Regional Coordinating Council on this special day. Permit me at this point, on behalf of the chiefs and people of the Volta region, as well as the Volta Regional Community Council, to join earlier speakers in welcoming all of you to this celebration. Importantly, I wish to extend a special welcome to those of you who have traveled from outside the Volta region to Amejofe for this debate. I have no doubt that you would enjoy your short stay as Amejope is noted for its beautiful weather, waterfall, our newly constructed canopy walkway, and the Mount Gemi with a giant 12 feet iron cross erected at the top in 1939. It may interest you to know, it may interest you to know that today we gathered at the highest point of human habitation in Ghana with an altitude of 3,275 feet above sea level. Ladies and gentlemen, 
Education, in whatever form, plays a critical role in the development of individuals, communities, and nations. It is in, this, in light of this that Nelson Mandela stated, quote and unquote, education is the most powerful weapon you can use to change the world. Indeed, the level of development of any country is an attestation of the standard of education of that nation. It is through education that the cognitive, affective, and psychomotor domains of every individual is developed in order that the individual can live a meaningful life and be able to contribute towards the progress of his environment. In our nation, the Ghana Teacher Training Colleges, now Colleges of Education, have over the years provided opportunity for the nation to get people trained to teach at the basic level. Indeed, the success we have chalked and the progress we have made in education will be attributed to the foundation laid by the various colleges of education which train the teachers to teach and provide leadership at the basic level. Among these colleges of education is the Evangelical Presbyterian College of Education, Amejope, which has carved a special niche for itself. For 75 years, this college has trained thousands of teachers who have not served only this region, but also the, the entire, entire, entire nation. nation. For 75 years, and from humble beginnings, this college has grown to engrave its name in the list of great institutions providing training in education. Professor Chairman, ladies and gentlemen, this college has also over the years provided some form of positive publicity to our dear region. Popularly known as Amejope Training College, the college and Amejope Township have created a beautiful mental image that when one hears of the name of the college and the town, one begins to relish the opportunity to visit Volta region. So once again, I invite you to visit Volta and experience Ghana. Ladies and gentlemen, it is therefore important that we join this college as it celebrates its 75 years journey. This celebration, I'm confident, will be used to take stock of the college's achievements, failures, and challenges with the overall objective of charting a course that will sustain its progress. I have no doubt that this college has been through thick and thin in ensuring that our nation is provided with quality teachers. I also have no doubt that this college still has some challenges, and the principal would like the challenges to be addressed in the shortest possible time. However, I am optimistic that while efforts are being made to address its present challenges, this college will continue to be resilient and maintain the highest standards of training. Professor Chairman, distinguished ladies and gentlemen, in view of the above, I wish to assure this college that the Volta Regional Community Council will continue to support and champion the college's cause in whatever way the council could, with the conviction that together we can propel this college to a higher height. On this note, I congratulate the Evangelical Presbyterian College of Education, Ambe Jope, on its 75th anniversary celebration. Indeed, you have achieved an important milestone worth celebrating. And I have no doubt that the years ahead of this great college is brighter. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you, Honorable Regional Minister. Professor Chair, when I was a, a little boy at secondary school, and any time we had inter-school festival, you always hear when the Volta region is losing, any of the Volta region school was losing, we have to import a certain school. Ladies and gentlemen, that school in those days 
was Ameko. And you have to bring in Ameko Jama those days. Anytime any water regional school was losing in an event, you have to bring in Ameko Jama. Professor Chair, with your permission, shall we have a feel of them? And they should make it brief for me. Ameko Jama. We also have the donation table. The donation table is in front of the auditorium. Please, we are celebrating our birthday. Make time to visit the donation table before you go. We also have the anniversary club and souvenirs at the same venue. And then the anniversary brochure as well. Thank you.
Anniversary souvenirs. Please don't go home empty handed. Thank you. There is a found spectacle here. Thank you, Ameko Jama. Thank you. Professor Chair, with your permission, may I humbly invite the Paramount Chief and President of our Team and Traditional Council, Osie Ajatepo the Seventh, to address us. Shall we welcome him? Thank you very much. The, 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 the
So we should not take chances at all. Uh, and we should not lose our guards. I know the regional minister knows about that. Well, I think the college board, looking at the way the Jama people have performed here, has been thinking of introducing a subject in Jama in the College of Education so that other people will come and learn from you. The representative of the, His Excellency Nanadu Adudanku Akufuado, Honorable Yao Osafu Mafu, Professor Chair, my regional minister, the moderator of the General Assembly of the EP Church, Ghana, I wish to stand on all other protocols that have already been acknowledged to congratulate the EP Church, Ghana, for their selling, selling qualities in education in the country. As the college moves into the next stage of its pedagogical system and structure. Standing on the past glories and utilizing the spirits of our forefathers who in their wisdom decided 75 years ago or more because I believe some people think that the college is more than 75 years. Agreed to establish the college in Abatime. I wish to encourage the board, the Ministry of Education, and of course, the government, that there are a lot more things to do in education in Ghana, which must start from the colleges of education and the teacher training colleges. One of the most important things that any nation tries on is its history. Another is the culture and tradition. Over the years, the culture and tradition of Ghana, or Africa for that matter, are being lost to the new generation to the extent that when you ask a child the names of trees or grasses in their local language, they find it very difficult to appreciate that. I want on this occasion, as we celebrate the 75 years anniversary of this college and the work of EP Church in Ghana, that mental or cognitive and psycho motto condition that the regional minister has mentioned must be re-engineered in our training colleges and colleges of education so that these people will imbibe that lesson into the younger generation because the foundation of any nation is based on the education and the temperaments of its young ones. Currently, as we all know, there is an ecological disaster looming in Africa and in the world. And that ecological disaster, if we are not able to curtail it at this moment by changing our attitudes towards the environment, then the next 75 years that are coming, God only knows how those things, those trees that sustain us, the mother earth that sustains us, God only knows what they will become. So I want to urge the Ministry of Education and the Ghana Education Service to take a critical look at environmental studies in their school curriculum, especially at the primary and the junior secondary school level. This is the only way that we'll be able to change attitudes our attitudes toward the environment. And as we celebrate the 75 years of this college, 
I know that those who have passed through here are forever grateful to the environment that sustained them. On this note, I want to say again that as the college moves in the next century, looking at the theme that they have carved out for themselves, they should reach out to the traditional area more than they used to be. I know my traditional chiefs and citizens always complain that when it comes to uh, sending teachers, teachers to their, to, for their teaching practicals, they don't go everywhere in the traditional area. At this point, I also want to ask the regional minister and government that there is a road from Avatime Amejope here through to Avatime Fume, which is a shortest route to meet the Eastern Corridor Road. We have spoken about this road several, several, several years each year. I want to use this opportunity because our elders say, where you find a tortoise, that's where you pick it from. Thank you. And so we want to appeal to the government to take another look at this road again. And of course, the town roads of Avatime and Amidjope, because they are also important. Teachers would come here in their drones, students would come here in their drones if the road condition is, is, is made better. I also want to ask the students who are here on which shoulders the 75 years anniversary is being celebrated to take a step back and ask themselves, what am I going to do for the college come 75 years or come the centenary anniversary? We want to encourage all the past and present students that they have a role. Their future was nurtured here on the soil of Abatimi. And as the regional minister mentioned, if you climbed up to Abatimi, you are on top of Ghana. And so all of you who are here now, I want to congratulate you. I want to thank all the dignitaries that have found time to make Abatime their choice of destination this morning to join the people, the chiefs and people of Abatime to celebrate this thing. Azayelo! 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 God bless you and may ancestors guide you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Yes. Anytime a friend is celebrating his or her birthday and invites a gift from me, I ask the person to throw a party. And when I come to that party, I'll give you a gift. So don't, don't request for a birthday gift from me without throwing a party. party. <laughs> if the College of Education Amadio is celebrating 75th anniversary and we are throwing a birthday party today. And we have invited you here today to give us a gift. Azalo! Professor Chair, with your permission, may I invite Reverend Alex Tewusu, the chaplain of the college, to lead us through the fundraising. Thank you. Professor Chairman, standing on the existing protocol, 
permit me to use some few minutes to respond for this wonderful celebration. Asylo! Oh, give away to Jesus. For as this as not yes, so. Wherever you are, give away to Jesus. Asylo! We are so grateful to the Lord. 75 year journey is not an easy journey. And by God's divine grace, as we are here, we count ourselves blessed in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. We have an anniversary project that is a four unit story, purposely to house our tutors so that they can have a sound mind and deliver what God has given to them. We thank God that you support me in many wonderful ways to raise funds for this occasion. 75 years journey, and we are celebrating this anniversary. Quantifying it in monetary wise, I humbly ask many us can help me to mark the day the 75th anniversary with a special amount. And this amount Do you know it? How much? 7,500. Put your hands together for him. I want five people looking at what God has done for us. Five people to give me 7,500 as a gold award marking this 75th anniversary. We can also do it in installments. We have appeal cards available, donation cards available. You can also do it in installment. Yes, 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 yes. Put your hands together. <laughs> 7,500 as a small donation. Hallelujah. He is doing this on behalf of Professor Honyanuga, Professor Honyanuga, a past student of this institution. He is doing it on behalf of Professor Honyanuga. He is giving us a check of 2,500 and promise to bring the balance in installment basis. Shall we put our hands together? Recorders, take notes, Professor Honyanuga. Professor Honyanuga, Professor Honyanuga, please, please, I have a parcel for you for Prof. Dan. I have a parcel for you for Professor Honyanuga. 7,500. 7,500. You can do it for me on installment basis. We present this to you to be given to Prof in the name of the Father, Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. 7,500 as a gold award marking this wonderful celebration. You can do it for me in installment basis. In installment basis. Professor Kodo, the rep of Kuda. Professor Kuda, the rep of Vice Chancellor UCC, is giving us thousand Ghana cities. Shall we put our hands together? Shall we put our hands together? Recorders take notes. Recorders take notes. Right, Honorable. Dr. Atikwi. Hello. Hello. Um, I'm doing this on behalf of the family of Okusie Achonfoli, the fifth. I think we are all aware 
how passionate he has been uh, with regards to education. In consultation with family members, we are given a thousand cash now. By next week, we would have made up the 7,500 on behalf of our Thank you. Thank you, Doug, 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 on behalf of the family, we appreciate you. God God bless you. Bless you. God God bless you. Bless you. We you can, can do, do it on behalf of our families. Groups can do it. Yes. yes. We present the city and the entire family in the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. God Yes. 7,500. I have five. Left with three. 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 Left with three, left with three, left with three, left with three, left with three. Yeah, but yes. Yes, left with three, 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 left with three. Put your hands together. Somebody is coming. 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 Shall we put our hands together? Shall we put our hands together? We are alive just because God has blessed us. We have what we have just because God has allowed us to have it. In Jesus' mighty name. We appreciate you. Right. 72 year group are presenting 1,000 now and then they will bring the rest 6,500. Right. Table Account people, take notes, take notes, take notes, take notes, take notes, take notes. I will give the mic to my co fundraiser to announce this one. Put your hands together for it. Hello, Asylum. This one is coming from our professor chairperson and his family, Professor Peter Ataja. They are giving us 7,500 cities. For all the 75 years that Ameko has been in existence, so each year, 100 Ghana cities for, from them. Thank you so much and God bless you. President Agoche, please can you kindly come for the award? Our token. Left with the last one. Left with the last one. 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 Yes. Who is coming? I'm so grateful and humble. Yes, yes, yes. I'm moving my eyes like eagle. Who is coming? The last one, the last one. I can see my mama. Put your hands together. Put your hands together. Put your hands together. Put it together. Do it better. Do it better. Nineteen seventy one group. Put your hands together. Nineteen seventy one group. Put your hands together. Put your hands together. They have given us thousand, and in the next few months, they'll bring the six thousand five hundred. Put your hands together. 
I said, put it together. Drum, the big drum, play it for me. Put your hands together. Put it, put it together. Put it together. We appreciate all of you. All of you. We appreciate all of you. We appreciate all of you. We appreciate all of you. So nice. So nice. So nice. We continue in that spirit. Said, if you can read, if you can read, thank the teacher. If you can read, oh, if you can read, are you all teachers here? Thank you for watching, Jesus. Oh, we have made so much in the life of many people across the whole universe. It is by the grace of God. As many as can bless me to support this anniversary with thousand Ghana cities, thousand Ghana cities, thousand Ghana cities. 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 I need your support to have this project come into reality. Yes. Aside this, if you can give us cement, if you can give us stone, if you can give us sand, if you can give us iron rod, if you can give us, count it, all the building materials, we appreciate it so much. Thousand Ghana cities, thousand Ghana cities, thousand Ghana cities. Thousand Ghana cities, thank you. Are you coming? Thousand Ghana cities. Now, 500 to. Right, the regional minister and the DCE will pledge of 100 bags of cement. Shall we put our hands together? Honorable, <laughs> we appreciate you. Please, your name. Mr. Isaac Nogre, give us 1,000 Ghana City cash and you will. Now, thousand Ghana City. He has given us five hundred, and the rest Momo. The re ninety-five baht. The rest Momo. Ninety-five baht. Isaac Nobe. I've given us thousand five hundred cash, then five hundred Momo. Five hundred to thousand. Yes. yes. Oh! The appeal card, appeal card is still around. Mr. Eric Amasu is giving us thousand, but in cash he has given us two hundred, and then we'll send the rest no more. We appreciate you. God bless you. From Wokatie, this is from the chief and elders of Amejope. They have given us 500 Ghana cities, so we appreciate them. The chief and the people, the chief and elders of Amejope, they have given us 500 Ghana cities. W.K. Apenyo has given us 500 Ghana cities. Oh, our vice minister has given us 500 Ghana cities. E.P. Moko Girls has given us 500 Ghana cities.
President Afasta Ajate has given us 500 Ghana cities. President Afasta Ajate has given us 500 Ghana cities. Mr. and Mrs. Samuel Aboni has given us 1,000 Ghana cities. Five hundred to thousand, five hundred to thousand, five hundred to thousand, five hundred to thousand. Azalo, oh Azalo, Azalo, Azalo. Yes, 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 yes. Thank you, my brother. Five hundred to thousand. El Shaddai impression gave us thousand, but I presented I presented two hundred. El Shaddai impression pledge of thousand are giving us two hundred table. Take notes. El Shaddai impression. They are one of our sponsors. Their advert is at the back of the brochure. Thank you very much. El Shaddai impression pledge of giving us thousand. They have redeemed. It with 200 Ghana cities left with 800. So we appreciate them, Avatime Traditional Council, pledge of 30 bags of cement to let see it lights. Avatime Traditional Council, pledge of 30 bags of cement. 200 to 500. 200 to 500. 200 to 500. 200 to 500. From Mr. Freeman Goka, he has given us 1,000 Ghana cities. Oh, shall we appreciate them? EP Church Headquarters Management Team. I take it again. EP Church Headquarters Management Team. Pledge of giving us 50 bags of cement, totaling 2,550 at the current price. Shall we appreciate them? Shall table take notes? Two thousand and three badge pledge of giving us thousand Ghana cities, but they have started with five hundred. Table, take note. Two thousand and three badge pledge of giving us five give thousand Ghana cities, but giving us five hundred cash. AP Church, Amejope, five hundred Ghana cities. AP Church, Amejope, five hundred Ghana cities. EP Education Unit, EP Education Unit, Evangelical Presbyterian Church Education Unit, pledge of 500 Ghana cities, pledge of 500 Ghana cities. Shall we appreciate them? Shall we appreciate them? Shall we appreciate them? Reverend Ledo, Reverend Ledo, our retired moderator, is giving us 200 Ghana cities. Shall we appreciate him? Paul, Professor Paul de la Ahiatroga has given us 500 Ghana cities. Maoli School, Maoli Senior High School has given us 500 Ghana cities. Hohe EP Senior High School has given us helps, has given us 500 Ghana cities.
82 year badge, 82 year badge that given us 1,500 Ghana cities. 1,500 Ghana cities. 82 year badge. 1,500 Ghana cities. 82 year badge. 1,000. Yes, I can see them. 2001 badge. 2004. 2004. 2004. 2004 by 1000 Ghana City Cash. Oscar, we appreciate them. 2004 by 2004. Regional Director of Education, Madam Afi Amafuga. 200 Ghana City. Shall we appreciate, Madam? We are so privileged to have you, and we thank you sincerely. 1979 badge has given us 500 Ghana cities. Amako say hey! <laughs> College of Education, Bimbila has given us 2,000 Ghana cities. Dambai College of Education has given us 1,000 Ghana cities. Hundred Ghana cities to 200 Ghana cities. Hundred Ghana cities to 200 Ghana cities. Hundred Ghana cities to 200 Ghana cities. Hundred. Hundred. Ghana cities to 200 Ghana cities. Hundred Ghana cities to 200 Ghana cities. I'm going to see this to going to see this. 200 to 100 going to see this. Yes, Madam Bobby. Madam Bobby. We love you. We love you. We love you. We love you. Oh. I'm going to see this. Oh, Sir Monsieur Cho, the music director. 100 Ghana CDs. 100, we appreciate you. Professor Amega here, 200 Ghana CDs. 200 Ghana CDs. 100 Ghana CDs. Millennium Bad, 2000 year batch has given us 1000 Ghana CDs. Cash! Thousand Ghana cities, cash! Oh, shall we appreciate them? Thousand Ghana cities! 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 Yes! Hundred Ghana cities! Hundred Ghana cities! Oh, Madam Big B, Ari! My president! I appreciate you, I love you! Peking College of Education, Peking College of Education are giving us thousand Ghana cities. Madam Kiki has given us thousand Ghana cities. Oh, shall we appreciate? Monsieur Adibu Stephen has given us thousand Ghana cities. Hundred Ghana cities. Hundred Ghana cities. Sorry. Hundred Ghana cities. Hundred Ghana cities. Hundred Ghana cities. Hundred Ghana cities. Conference of heads, chaplains, directors, and managers of TV education of EP Church. Conference of heads, chaplains, directors, managers of EP education of education EP Church has given us 500 cities. 500 cities. 500 cities. 50 Ghana cities. 50 Ghana cities. 50 Ghana cities.
Oh, hello, I have good news for you. All the principals of colleges of education that are present here put their heads together and gave us a total of 13,100 Ghana cities. We salute you. We love you. We love you. Keep it up. Mrs. Toka, 100 Ghana cities. 50 Ghana cities. 50 Ghana cities. 50 Ghana cities. Can I get my seven bowls? I need seven bowls. Seven bowls. I need seven bowls. I need seven bowls. I want to see all the badges here, badges here. Demonstration in the staff. That is, I'm not going to demonstration. Staff, I've given us 100 Ghana cities. We appreciate you. We appreciate you. A lot of friendship. May they come a little bit forward. 50 Ghana cities. Two thousand and two badge has given us thousand Ghana cities. Two thousand and two badge has given us thousand Ghana cities. Before we take the last collection, twenty eleven badge, five hundred Ghana cities. Twenty eleven badge, five hundred Ghana cities. We appreciate you. God bless you. We like your view. Now, the merchant number. Those of us want to deal with the e-cash. Take it, please. The number is 0240-588-217. I take it again. 0240-588-217. The name is Emmanuel Kofi Amewovi. Please use your name as a reference. We we'll acknowledge you. 0240-588-217. Now we are going to do by birthday collection. Birthday offering. Starting from Sunday. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. And this is the order. We are going to take it from here. God justly, God justly, and then we'll end it at the days, humbly. Show up. Birthday collection. From this end, my stream writes. The La TV is is live. The La TV is live. So, bring it. From my stream writes. Oh, shall we celebrate with joy? As a way of thanking the Lord. We are giving thanks. Through birthday collection.
Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you all. A donation on behalf of the late Nelson Matapu. The family is pledging 1,000 US dollars to support a donation in memory of Mr. Nelson Matapu and all students. The lakes. The family is pledging 1,000 US dollars. We appreciate the Matapu family. In that order, in that order, in that order, in that order. Anyone that wants to sing by memory, the Lucky TV is alive. Very, 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 very. Life, 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 life. Let's move fast. It seems it is here. The line is here. Let's move fast. Let's move fast. Students, it's now your turn. The choir can change over from the brass band. Adonai Renters, pledge of 10 bags of cement. Adonai Renters, a pledge of 10 bags of cement. Mr. Ernest Girado, a 96 year badge, pledge of 1,000 Ghana cities. A 96 year badge. Shall we move fast? Shall we move fast? It seems it's here. There, at the corner there. Brass band, it is your turn. Staff, it's now your turn.
One, two, three, one. Let's go. our staff We invite our dignitaries now. Nineteen eighty seven group, a pledge of five hundred Ghana cities, but they have redeemed it with three hundred left with two hundred. Nineteen eighty seven, nineteen eighty seven, nineteen eighty seven, pledge of five hundred, but redeemed with three hundred. Two thousand and thirteen batch, two thousand and fourteen, two thousand and nine, two thousand and ten. We want to see you. According to the chairman, the competition between the halls, that will be the final thing we're going to do after we are making the rest of the speeches. I'll come back, I promise you. Go to the president. It is not easy asking for money. We 
will you quickly to take the presentation of citations and award. May I invite Epsu Hokoji alumni to do their presentation to be received by the vice principal. The vice principal, Mr. Vincent Joseph Papier, 98 year group, 98 year group, 98 year group. Thank you, Epsu alumni Hokoji. 96, 96 year group. A smart TV, a smart TV, a smart TV. The vice president, the vice uh, principal is receiving it on behalf of SRC. Thank you, thank you, thank you. May I humbly invite the rep of UCC to do us the presentation for PPMC. PPMC. PPMC has been supporting the institution Let's put our hands together for PPMC. They've been supporting the institution over the last few years. PPMC. To be received by Honorable Bejra, MP for Whole West. Honorable, thank you. The next presentation, citation, will go to the VC of Legon. That will be the next presentation. A citation. and a gift. May I humbly request the moderator of General Assembly to do our dishonors to present the citation to her, to the VC, University of Ghana, our mental institution. The first Of Lego is the first female to have held this position. The first female, she is a motivation to the girl child. Shall we put our hands together for her? An artwork. Let's put our hands together. Let's put our hands together. Depicting a forest. The next award will go to Professor Salifu. 
for his contribution to tertiary education in Ghana. That award, may I humbly request the Honorable Regional Minister to do as the honors. A citation. Professor Salifu, thank you for your contribution to tertiary education in Ghana. Please, we are not done. Yes. Yes. That is it. May I humbly invite the principal of the college to do this presentation. And the presentation goes to the EP Church. Goes to the EP Church. The presentation goes to the EP Church. To the EP Church. May I humbly invite the clerk of General Assembly to come and receive it on behalf of the EP Church. The college management is appreciating the EP Church for establishing this institution is a plaque and for nurturing the institution this far on behalf of staff, staff and students student. for, for your, your contribution. contribution. We, we ask, ask for more. more. We also want to appreciate Guel Ghana. Guel Ghana. If there is any rep here, Guel Ghana. Okay, thank you. Do we have a rep of Togbe Ajayi here? Thank you. Okay, to be received by Reverend Ledo on behalf of Togbe Ajayi. <laughs> May I humbly request Mr. Freeman Goba, the director of Pencils of Promise, to do our dishonors. Mr. Freeman Goba, Director of Pencils of Promise. A symbolic, a symbolic gesture. gesture. A, a symbolic, symbolic gesture, gesture to talk to me, me an old student of this institution, institution and has been very supportive. supportive. Thank, Thank you, you Mr. Kukuba. The next presentation will be done by the moderator of the General Assembly EP Church. Professor Chair, we have here with us a 95-year-old old student of this school. He was part of the 1946 batch when this school was established. Ladies and gentlemen, 
Shall we welcome Reverend Abel Rapa, the known surviving pioneer of this institution? That award will be presented by the moderator of the General Assembly. Reverend Rapa, may God give you strength and continue to protect you. The new surviving, surviving pioneer of this college. college. Thank you. Thank you. year group, 1,000 Ghana. The 98 year group have donated 1,000 Ghana. Table, please take note. 98 year group, 1,000 Ghana. Thank you, 98 year group, 1,000 Ghana. Thank you, 98,000 Ghana. Please, alumni, we have your attendance list going around. Make sure you indicate your attendance. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen. It is time for us to take the address and we invite the drama group of the college to give us an appellation before we have the address.
Malolo, Macacao, Caca a chick pork black low. Vavai, a meco majors only go half it or so for gown and her gome o. A jeffer and my hands only chose at B, Cacavaro degree. A G set B, G set A plus diploma. Ke a gado degree per half a full city. All a jigan and it all. A meco, a metitima tore a tinua. A cu a mega, caca view di a bed a cacue and a la coto e caca di view, caca a door of a vovo la gana, clacia megodo. O so for gao, no fiala un tepeo, en o gao, senna la conco, gacon tabula a do di opera bubuao. A meco to the FF blunt drevo at Tons Yame, Bayagas or Chans only, a behen o hella and eh? A meco to the FF blunt drevo at Tons Yame, Bayad only fool a behon, Ya Claudida, a how like an aedoqui, a betchan and eh? A meco be, Totroy, Sivana, a land of Francais, Bessasson, a yatana, a medrava de Edbia, a sir, born a rive. Hafi ay antonado ke pa me ak pasia na e Uga vola we number amahela nwe na nya ameko Ga fu number amaklala nwe na nya ameko We boto we le toti Merci beaucoup wa wali welo Ameko na no anyi tegbe Ipi hama na no anyi tegbe Kana na no anyi tegbe Akpena mi Please do it better. Clap and let the foundations of this college shake. Oh, students, clap for me, clap for us, clap for them. Let's hear your clappers. Thank you so much. Before I go ahead, donation from Volta MPs, caucus from Parliament, 2000 to the college. Then Honorable Benjamin Kodo, the MP for Host Central, who happens to be a former student of this college, is also donating 1,000 Ghana cities to the college. <laughs> Mr. Chairman and all the other protocols already observed, permit me to profile of our guest speaker this afternoon. Honorable Yao Osafo Mafo is a Ghanaian politician, engineer, and banker who served in the portfolio of senior minister of the Republic of Ghana in the Nana Akufuado administration and currently as a senior advisor to the president. Honorable Osafo Mafo was born in Achim, Ewisa in 1942. He attended Achim, Ewisa Presbyterian School. And then continued to Achimota Senior High School. He went on to study mechanical engineering at the Kwame Nkrumah University of Science and Technology, Kumansi, Ghana. At KNUST, he was the vice president of the National Union of Ghana Students, NUS. He established, he established, he has been a consultant to the World Bank, the African Development Bank, 
and the United Nations Development Program. He is the past vice president of the executive committee of the West African Bankers Association and a founding deputy chairman of the Ghana Stock Exchange. He has served as chairman and a board member on a number of corporations, including Nestle Ghana Limited, National Trust Holding Company, Merchant Bank Ghana Limited, National Development Planning Commission, Diversity Implementation Committee, and Downwell Insurance Company. He stepped down after serving as a minister of, as a member of parliament for Akim Oda constituency in the Eastern region. He is a fellow of the Ghana Institute, Institution of Engineers, and an honorary fellow of the Ghana Institute of Architects. He is a former minister, member of parliament for Akim Oda. He was appointed Minister of Finance in February 2001 and later Minister of Finance and Economic Planning during the President Kufo administration. He held this position until January 2002. At the Ministry of Finance, he oversee the dramatic turn around of the Ghanaian economy. In November 2001, he was named Finance Minister of the Year which his can with his Canadian counterpart, Paul Martin, by the World Economic Forum and Finance Minister of the Year 2001. Africa by Banker Magazine and Financial Times Publication. Between 2005 and 2006, he was Minister of Education and Sports, where he commenced the implementation of the major education reform, sector reform aimed at improving the quality of basic, secondary, and tertiary education. The reforms also sought to align the education system with the needs of the broader economy. He implemented the new free basic education referred to as capitation grant. With respect to sports, his reorganization and restructuring of the finances and management of football in the country played a significant part in helping Ghana qualify for the 2006 World Cup. This was the first time Ghana went to World Cup. On this note, permit me to invite our guests of honor, representing the President, Honorable Yao Osafo Mafo, to address us. Chair of this function, the voter regional minister, Yao, my colleague, member of parliament for whole West, Dr. Emmanuel Bejura, the district chief executives here present, the director general, Ghana Tertiary Education Commission, the vice chancellor, University of Ghana, Legon, the vice the representative of the Vice Chancellor, University of Cape Coast, principals of colleges of education here, the clergy, members of convocation of this institution, staff and students, alumina of AMECO, special invited guests, Osie Ejatepo the seventh, Paramount Chief, President of the Avatime Council, 
Tokwe, I happen to be a very good friend of Tokwe Ejateko the Six, who represented the National House of Chiefs at the Consultative Assembly in the year 1991. Okisie Ejafoli V, other Okisies present, Tokwe Mamao members of the Distinguished Press, ladies and gentlemen. I feel it a great honor to be part of this ceremony on behalf of His Excellency the President. The President, because of the impending May Day celebration and some very important meetings tonight with the labor unions in this country, could not make it. So he gave me a last minute direction to represent him at this meeting. Education, as the regional minister said, is the most powerful weapon in the world, when he was quoting Nelson Mandela. Reverend Chairman, having accepted the request by the president to represent him, may I, on my own behalf, and on the good wishes to the original Bremen mission in Ghana, the EP Church Ghana, the management of the college staff, students, alumni, for this remarkable achievement attained over the last 75 years. May I also use this opportunity to single out and congratulate one of the pioneering students of this college who had just been honored here, Reverend Albert Urapa, who was part of the 1946 year group. Shall we all be upstanding in this honor? 95 years old, and you made it here walking. Congratulations, Raul Rapa. Over these 75 years, America has lived up to their responsibilities as one of the outstanding teacher training colleges in this part of the country, and the only one in the whole West District. Indeed, the college over the years distinguished itself as a pioneer in providing quality teacher education with its alumni. Found in every region and in almost every industry in this country. We all saw the Ujama spirit of the old alumni association. As old association, congratulations. In fact, since my wife is a trained teacher, I want to put an application for her to become an old lady of this alumni association. I was most impressed with your Yama spirit. As you celebrate 75 years of existence on the theme, restoring the past glory, repositioning AMECO as a strategic partner in quality teacher education delivery in the 21st century. I repeat, restoring the past glory, repositioning AMECO as a strategic partner in quality teacher education delivery in the 21st century. Purposely to take stock of what has been achieved over the last 75 years and to prepare ourselves towards our centenary. And I can imagine that from all indications that would be a wonderful time to celebrate. Distinguished ladies and gentlemen, let me state the commitment of Nana Adodankwa Ekufuadu-led government in the realm of teacher education and defining permanent solutions to the mirage of problems confronting education system, especially in the rural communities in this country. No nation, and I repeat, no nation can develop without paying attention to education. Education is the weapon for development. And therefore, if you want to develop, you must pay attention to education. Hence, making second cycle education free for the whole system. Distinguished ladies and gentlemen, it is also important to note that when you talk about education, you are talking about the teacher as the center of the whole system. The teacher is therefore the key to the success of education. Congratulations 
for this 75th birthday. <laughs> Reverend <laughs> Chair, it is a notable fact that the surest tool of fighting poverty, ignorance, disease, and any other such challenges confronting any nation is a means of education. And I think here we must all pay attention to education from various directions and various dimensions. In this direction, ladies and gentlemen, it is not possible to confront challenges in the sector and improve quality teacher education without research. I am reliably informed that management of the college has taken proactive steps to build the capacity of staff in the areas of research. And I'm encouraged by the comments of the Vice Chancellor of the Premier University, University of Ghana, on that able way and that professional way, they are holding the hand of this College of Education to become one of the best in this country. Legon Ahiko. We also, at this stage, want to say a big thank you to the EP Church for founding this in the first place. The college has also lived within the environment, and therefore, we say also a big thank you to the traditional area for supporting and harboring this important training college for this country. Ladies and gentlemen, I've also been rather informed that there was a sword cutting yesterday to commence the construction of a four-unit, two-bedroom apartment to ease the accommodation challenges confronting the college. I also, before coming to the Deba ground, commissioned a two-story administration block annex. These two projects are self-help projects, projects arising out of resources from the operations of this college. We can only say congratulations to the management of this college for using their own <laughs> internally <laughs> generated <laughs> funds to, to add to, to the infrastructure, infrastructure of, of the college. college. Principal, congratulations. <laughs> Reverend Chair, I have taken notice of the numerous challenges confronting the college and indeed the town as numerated by the principal and the paramount chief. And I was making profuse notes on what you were telling me. And as you are aware, the regional engineer of the Ghana High Authority has already been here to look at the town roads and the main road leading to this college. I can assure you that from the second quarter of this year, work will commence on the town roads and the road leading to the investment. Before I left, we had cabinet meeting on Thursday. So before I left, I also told the president, Mr. President, you are sending me to Amejo, and it is their 75th birthday. What do we tell them as their 75th birthday cake? What should be the immediate? There must be something. Promises normally from politicians sometimes are taken differently. So in addition to the road network, which is seriously being considered, and my attention has been drawn to the project started by Get Fund in 2010, which is still at the foundation stage. I have also discussed that because I had a win before coming with Get Fund, and the work will begin on that project soonest. Reverend Chair, Chair Professor, Professor, I am personally discussing with the GET Fund, with the Minister of Education, to make sure that these infrastructure programs, projects, which you have made so much effort of your own to promote, are supported and supported very well. Mr. Principal, teaching and non-teaching staff, as well as students of the college, I'm happy to announce 
that your 75th birthday present from His Excellency the President is that within two weeks, within two weeks, a 65 seater bus will be donated to this institution. <laughs> will be the first to receive one of these new special buses from the country. Reverend Chair, ladies and gentlemen, on that one, on that note, I once again extend warm congratulations on behalf of the President to the college. I also want to contribute from my office to the fundraising. Within the next two weeks, may your registry contact my office for a donation of 10,000 cities to support your efforts. <laughs> Professor Chairman, Ladies and gentlemen, as hello, as hello, as hello, thank you. Shall we rise up and you can clap better? You can clap better, you can clap better. Let's rise up as the honorable sits down. Shall we sit down? Before we take a musical interlude from the choir, I announced earlier that we had a donation of 1,000 Ghana cities from Honorable Benjamin Kodo. In addition, he has added 50 bags of cement which have already been delivered to the college. Thank you. Thank you. May I humbly invite the principal of the college to do the presentation to our speaker. Honorable Yao Osafu Mafu, the Senior Presidential Advisor. Honorable, we thank you so much for coming to represent the President. Thank you. The management and staff of the college appreciate you. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Yes, sir. EP Technical Vocational Institute, Alabanyo. Donation of 400 Ghana cities. 400 Ghana cities. We shall. Now take the seventy fifth anniversary anthem by the college choir.
Thank you, Kalechka. Please, you can appreciate them better than you are appreciating now. It's not easy to say. We also received thousand Ghana cities from the executive director of Tita, Mr. Robin Todd. Then I saw the 2006 year badge. I have also donated 2,000 to the college. Thank you, College Choir. It is now time for us to cut the anniversary cake. May I humbly, Chairman, with your permission, invite the anniversary cake. Thank you. Thank you. Let's, Let's put, put our hands together, together for them. them. May I humbly invite the BC of University of Ghana, the principal of the college, and our special guest to do us the honors of cutting the anniversary cake. Should be supported by the chief of Amejope. The chief of Amejope will also support. The chairman of today's occasion, the chairman of today's occasion, May I also humbly invite the moderator of the General Assembly, E.P. Church. Seventy-five years of providing, of training teachers. May I humbly invite a rep from LSRC, a rep from each year group here, to help out pop the anniversary champagne. SRC, each year group, alumni. There are eight champagne.
you leave take your receipt before you leave please take your receipt and your pledge card at the, the at the desk in front of the auditorium okay so shall we take it to let's take it soon. to give us the vote of thank. Let's welcome Madam.
Sorry, sorry. I almost forgot this. Shall we all lift up our glasses and cups? I propose many more years in the life of EP College of Education, Ameko, and cheers to all of us. Cheers. Azaloa! Azaloa! Akpenabia Opete. Before we, whilst we wait for the vote of time, may I also humbly ask that before we close, we take a remark from the chairman of the occasion. Thank you, Professor Chair. Honorable invited guests, all protocols, protocols observed. I think we all had a great day. I think this day will go down in the annals of teacher education in this country. We had such a great time. The principal actually opened it up with um, a description of the uh, institution as it started, how they are trying to diversify their programs into French, music, and others. He talked about some infrastructural challenges that they had and their self-help in trying to put it together, which I think has encouraged the, uh, um, our elders here to actually say that uh, within two weeks, we will have a 65-seater bus and the Get Fund project will start. Let's a again give a, a great clap to uh, these officers. I think that uh, we were also very much encouraged by um, our mentoring institution, the head of our mentoring institution, the vice chancellor of uh, the premier university, University of Ghana, where they are helping with uh, curriculum development, staff and faculty development, as well as um, promotion standards. And um, Dr. Principal, if you haven't heard, the one thing that I heard from Madam Vice Chancellor is that you are coming along um, an institution of very high standards. And you, that is expected from you. And and our nation expects nothing less. Thank you. Um, I also want to thank the Volta Regional um, uh, Minister for drawing our attention to Amejofe, the central role that Amejofe, I mean, a place in drawing um, uh, tourists and visitors to um, uh, uh, the Volta region. I love this uh, region. I love. Uh, uh, our every language, and I want all of us to come and experience it, and um, thank you for that. Then, the Paramount Chief, actually, Togbe um, uh, Osie, uh, I forgot the, the exact name, uh, he, uh, he um, mentioned something that is very, very close to my heart the values that education brings, the cultural values that education brings. I mentioned in my acceptance that I was, um, I was educated in the EP primary, and I tell you, there were, many, um, there were many teachers from this institution that trained and taught us. And I thank God for the education that we have. And on this note, 
I am appealing, if there is any headline that would come, I strongly appeal to the, to the government, to the educational authority, to strengthen the partnership that the mission schools have with the government so that we just don't have the generic reading, writing, and arithmetic, but that our hearts are trained, our heads are trained, and our hands are trained. Please, I believe that this partnership, when, when um, strengthened and deepened, you will, we will have products that will go anywhere in this world. To tell you the truth, to be sent by a, a multinational um, uh, institution for me to go and set up uh, a research institute in China where I have never been before. I haven't, uh, I don't know the culture and I don't uh, speak the, uh, the language. And to be able to do that for 10 years states to the, uh, to the quality of education that I had as a child to be able to fit any, um, uh, any, uh, any, any environment. So I just want to uh, plead that the, uh, the, the government would really strengthen this partnership with um, uh, 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 the religious institutions. And I plead for my church, because I know that what my church has given me, uh, uh, no words can describe it. So I thank you. And um, Togbe was talking also about the environment. This is the last thing that I want to say. Unfortunately, I was looking at something here that probably uh, uh, may only catch my attention as um, a cancer scientist and a drug developer. You know, um, I see that uh, some of the roofings are still with asbestos. And um, asbestos has been found to cause uh, a lung cancers and uh, met uh, mesothelioma, which is a cancer of the respiratory system. Some of these things, we don't uh, uh, realize them. So I am appealing um, to the government to really take note of some of these things that cause uh, these diseases and uh, let us uh, do our best to replace uh, uh, these. I know that in a lot of the old institutions, we have these asbestos uh, sheets. And currently, in the, in the other parts of the world, people are suing for having been exposed to these things because the fibers that come from uh, these um, uh, um, asbestos are tumorigenic. And as a cancer scientist, I cannot, I mean, uh, uh, stop without um, uh, noticing it. So I appeal to the president that we should take ad, uh, uh, advantage of this. And then, in fact, what we have been exposed to today shows the greatness of this institution, right from the sweet melodies of the choir to the children, what they, um, uh, I mean, what they, uh, they showed us here, and. Uh, I also want to uh, maybe apply to be a member of the uh, Jama group. <laughs> uh, 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 the Jama group, the orchestra, you've been great. I think that we just had a great time. And uh, Amajofe training, um, sorry, Amajofe College of Education um, with the University of Ghana going hand in hand is going to do great things. And the great years are ahead of us. Thank you so much. Thank you, Chairperson. Shall we take the following announcement? Tomorrow, we're going to have a Thanksgiving service here at 9 o'clock prompt. And whatever we're going to do tomorrow here, we're going to support the chaplaincy to so, uh, college rope for the college choir. So come in your numbers and come and donate. Now, shall we listen to the results from the birthday donations or silver collections that were done? A total of 3,766 was realized. 
Now, these are the positions. Monday came seventh with 329. Wednesday, sixth with 405. Saturday, fifth with 416. Tuesday, fourth with 578. Friday came third with 596. Thursday came second with 715. Then Sunday tomorrow came first with 727. Thank you so much. I'll invite brother to do. Thank you very much. Honorable Chair, with your permission, let me introduce some important guests seated among us. The first on my list is Dr. Emmanuel Nyamiche, the Prince Kof of Akrokeri College of Education. President, thank you very much. Dr. Samuel Atin Tonu, College of Education, Accra, the principal. John Sedo, Color of Education Principal, Akachi. Thank you very much. Dr. Mrs. Phyllis Ajiman Nyako, Principal, Abetifi Presby College of Education. Thank you very much. Reverend Dr. Nicholas Apres Yao, Principal, PC Ekropon. Thank you very much. Dr. Ibrahim James Grindo Mimingo, EP College Bimbila Principal. <laughs> Reverend Kwesin Kum Wilson, Principal Commander College of Education. <laughs> Very Reverend Solom Solomon Jamira Methodist College Akimoda Principal. <laughs> Dr. Anthony Bua Berijiri Foso College of Education Principal. Mrs. Sandra Amwa, Ghana Tertiary Education Commission Head Office. Mrs. Sophia Maika, St. Teresa College of Education, Hohoe, Principal. Dr. Daniel K. Hammond, Jessica Kalu Education, Principal. Dr. Samuel Adai Boateng, Atebubu College of Education, Atebubu, Principal. Mrs. Janet Dacha Agboche, Municipal Director of Education, Hohoe. Thank you. Dr. Cecilia Esinam Agbeko, Mount Mary College of Education, Principal. Reverend M.I.D. Akato, EP College of Education, Ameko, Parish Priest. Dr. Vicentia Okai, Nuda Council Member. Government appointee, thank you. Madam Sichope Amagwe, retired Director GS, Council Member. Professor FK Amadahe, UCC retired, Council Member. Togbi Eri Deterred, SNIT retired, Council Member. Reverend F. E. Mousi, Bimbila College, Chaplain. Reverend S. S. Asieni, Ho Bankwe, UP Church Pastors, Assistant Secretary, you are welcome. Mr. David Agbogla, St. Teresa College of Education, Hohoe, Assistant College Secretary. Franklin B.C., Peki College of Education, Teaching School Coordinator. Idrisu Adam Suleimana, EP College of Education, College Secretary, Bimbila. Alhassam Akwadugu, Bewa College of Education, College Secretary. Wumbe Jike Chas, Dambai College of Education, Principal's Rep. Anas Sedu Salisu, Yipi College of Education, Vice Principal, Bimbila. 
Dr. Atikwi Amejope Rep Avatime, Joseph Apia Ameko Vice Principal, Prof. Dela Paul Anyatroga UCC, Prof. Peter Ataja Yuhas, Reverend Dr. Lawson Janku Yipi Church Headquarters, Reverend Emmanuel Yipi Church Headquarters, Mr. Charles Sechi Principal Headquarters, Mrs. Alice Sato Ato Sechi UCC, Very Reverend J.Y. Ledo EP Church Snake Flats, Honorable Adam Kwesi Baka EP University of College President, Foster Agoche EP Church Ghana, Immediate Pass General Manager, Jemima Asabia Anderson University of Ghana, Director of African Doctorate Academy. Prof. Martin Otin Abebio, University of Ghana, Provost College of Education. Franklin Amesimenu Hohweipi, SSS, Headmaster. Courage Ametoku Awudome SHS, Headmaster. Mr. Peniana Enestina, EP Church, Mauko Girls, Headmistress. Retired Reverend Dr. BDK Agbeko, EP Church Headquarters, Moderator. Mrs. Marian Adre, EP Church Educational Unit. Prof. Nana Abba Apia Amfo, University of Ghana, Vice Chancellor. Madam Enyonam Afi Amafuga, Regional Director of Education. Reverend Winfred Apanyo, Reverend Silvano Stete, Reverend A.Y. Rapper, former clerk of EPC. Honorable Emmanuel K. Bajra, Parliament, Whole West MP. Habibu Adam, Office of Senior Presidential Advisor. Nana Kwajo Bediako, Office of Senior Presidential Advisor. Freeman Goba, Pencils of Promise, Country Director. Osie Ajatekbo, the fourth President of Avatima Traditional Council. Okusie Ajiman, Avatima Traditional Council. Okusie Ajay, and all other people who are supporting the Traditional Council present. We thank you very much. The last announcement. The chiefs and elders of Amajope Traditional Council, you are welcome. They are also present in our mess. When we close from here, we are refreshing the following at these various venues. All Prinkoff members should meet at the principal's residence at the top. Mr. and Ms. MPs are all ministers. You meet at the conference room. All chiefs and elders, the old library behind the assembly hall. All special guests will meet behind the assembly hall. The print off drivers and the media, you meet at the principal's office. The staff and their spouses will meet at the staff common room. And all alumni will meet in the long hall. Thank you very much. We acknowledge the presence of all the great alumni present here too. And all students, students, let's see your hands. All students present, you meet at the dining hall for your refreshment. Thank you very much. For today, you are having an enhanced meal, a special meal to celebrate this day. May I now invite Miss Evelyn Arabas entered to give us the vote of thanks. Let's put our hands together. Azalo, Azale Gongwe, Ewa, Ele Gongwe. Okay, my own toy do it. I'm your little drum and a cigar. Ah, when I mean the chairman, the rep of the president of the Republic of Ghana, the regional minister, chiefs, and all other protocol observed. We can all attest to the fact that this has been a very, very, very successful celebration. Hello? 
Okay. So we have all contributed to make it such a success and a memorable one. Many of us may not see the next anniversary of Ameko, true or false, whether you like it or not. So for all of us who have come here, I send my thanks to the Almighty God for having taken the college through the journey of 75 years. Many of us have passed through here. I am one. I send my thanks also to the chairman and all those who have supported him to have played his role so well and also for his comprehensive and insightful remarks that he gave at the end. Very, very comprehensive and I think many of us have learned something new from his remarks. I thank also the clergy both active and retired, and most especially the 95-year-old pioneer who has been with us since yesterday. Thank you. We thank God for your life. His daughter happened to be my senior in secondary school. So after so many years, I saw her also yesterday. Sister Evelyn, thanks for taking care of Grandpa. We thank the rep of the, His Excellency, Honorable Osafo Mafo and his entourage for climbing to this place and gracing the occasion for us. Thank you very much, Honorables. My next thanks also goes to the Regional Minister and his entourage the honorable MPs and all other honorable politicians who have also graced our occasion. I thank my regional director of education and her team also for coming all the way to be with us. I send my thanks to the EP Church headquarters and her affiliated bodies the EP Church Education Unit, the Bremen Mission, the EP Church Togo, and all other sister churches for playing a role in seeing this day ending successfully. I want to thank the Paramount Chief of Avatime, Togbe Osie Ajatepo the fifth. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Sometimes I get confused about the, the fifth or the sixth. The um, chiefs and elders, all other chiefs and elders of uh, the Avatime towns, chiefs and elders of Amejope, and all chiefs who have come from outside Avatime. I send my thanks also to the principal, teaching and non-teaching staff, students, as well as the alumni who have added so much color to the celebration. I want to appreciate the solidarity exhibited by the principals of colleges of education for coming in their numbers from far and near, even Bimbila, they are all here. Tebu, they are all here. I appreciate you all. GES staff from headquarters region, districts, uh, we have some district directors of education also with us. The band, the choir, the cadets, Ameko Jama. Yay! Yeah. Yes, I love Java. And all other groups that have performed one activity or the other, 
I thank all friends of AMECO, the press, the planning committee for a yeoman's job done. Thank you, thank you, thank you very much. I also want to appreciate all who have donated in one way or the other, in cash or in kind. Uh, the decorators, uh, in fact, all and sundry. If I want to continue mentioning names one by one, uh, you, you hoot at me. So I want to end it here. And pardon me if I don't mention your name, but, but I know your name starts from A to B to Z, isn't it? So for everybody whose name stands from A to Z, I say thank you very, 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 very much. Those who have played roles they know themselves before the celebration, during, and even after the celebration, those who are going to continue playing roles, I just want to say thank you very, very much. God bless us all, and I wish all of us safe journey as we return to our destinations. May we have some renewed strength after visiting Amejohe. It's a special place. You are welcome once again, and we want to invite you to come and visit our tourist sites. Thank you. Thank you. Let's put our hands together. That was very comprehensive. May I humbly invite Reverend S.K. Tete to give us a closing prayer. Beloved, let us stand in all humility and thank God. Almighty God, we give you thanks and praise for leading us through this program. Not us, Lord, not us, but glory. For your goodness alone kept and sustained us and preserved us through this program. Continue your mercies to us, we pray, even as we depart from here. Bless the work of schools, colleges, and universities in Ghana, that in them the truth may never be denied, betrayed, or concealed, but be honored, followed, and obeyed. Guide the teachers in their endeavors. Grant that learning may flourish among us as a means both of enriching our lives and of drawing us nearer to you from whom all truth proceeds. And to you we commend ourselves and all who need your traveling message. Renew and transform us to the newness of life through Christ our Lord, who taught us to pray, saying, Our Father, Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Beloved, rest Into the hand of him that is able to keep you safe, God the Almighty, I commit you. May the Lord bear you on eagle's wing and take you to safety. As you go, may the Lord go ahead of you, be behind you, be on your side. May the Lord hide you in himself for your safety and goodness. 
blessings of the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit come upon you and remain with you now and always. Amen. Thank you, sir. May I now We've come, come to, to the, the end, end of, of the program. program. The choir will give us a rendition whilst the officials upstage will exchange presentries and then we depart. Thank you all very much for coming. Colleagues in the media, TV3, Ghanaian Times Graphic, G1 TV, Ghana News Agency, Global FM, Metro TV, Joy News and TV. We were also live on Dela TV.